Here, I'm going to talk about orientation of skin specimens. If a tumour is incompletely excised, more tissue may be taken at a subsequent operation. When planning re-excision, it's useful for the surgeon to know which margin or margins were involved from the first surgery. When the pathologist receives a piece of skin, they don't know which way round it is relative to the patient. This is where orientation marks come in. I'll talk about sutures here, although there are other methods. For skin, we usually know which surface is the front and which the back. The surgeon can insert a single suture to indicate orientation. They might describe it as 12 o'clock or superior or lateral. If they don't use clock hours, it's important to say whether the specimen is from the left or right. The pathologist can deduce from that single suture where the other margins are. As a general principle, try not to use more sutures than necessary. They disrupt the tissue, making it difficult to assess margins. Sometimes, however, we don't know which surface is the front and which the back. For example, if a tumour is ulcerated, the skin surface will be irregular. In that case, two sutures may be needed. You can have one long and one short, or you could have, for example, one silk and one vicral. Please remember that the pathologist doesn't have a surgical microscope and won't be able to see very fine sutures such as 10 or nylon. My advice is to place sutures at 90 degrees to each other and this is why. If you have a short suture at 12 o'clock and a long suture at 6 o'clock, the 6 o'clock one doesn't add anything. We already know that 6 o'clock is opposite 12 o'clock. And worse, if we don't know which surface is which, the two sutures don't help. Whereas, if you have a short suture at 12 o'clock and a long suture at 3 o'clock, we can then also identify the front and the back.